This quick video will teach you how to enroll individuals into your Moodle classes, as well as assign them different roles, and how to unenroll your students. We will also touch on the self-enrollment method. You can start by going into the course where you would like to make your enrollments. You're then going to go under your administration tab, mine's on the left hand side here near the bottom, and find users and click on that drop down. You can then select Enrolled Users. This is going to take you to a screen where you can see all of the students and instructors or instructional assistants who have already been enrolled, including yourself. On this page you can find when somebody last accessed the course, what their role is in the course, and when they were enrolled. So we'll start by doing an enrollment. Either of these Enroll Users buttons will work for you. So you can bring this up and it'll show all the students here on Moodle at Olds College. And it's going to, by default, select student. You can change that if you'd like to enter in your IA or another instructor into the course. You can then go ahead and make a search. I'm going to add in my demo today. All you need to do is select that enroll button right beside their name. Once that enrollment button is gone from beside their name, that means they've been enrolled. You can go ahead and search for other students and keep adding them in. And when you're finished, you can click Finish Enrolling Users at the bottom of that pop-up screen. And there you go, there's your new student added in. If you ever need to change the role of an individual in your course, you can go under the Role category and just delete their current role out. Go ahead and remove that. And by adding in another role, you just have to click the gray plus sign and it'll bring up the assigned roles to choose from. And they'll automatically given, be given that new power. If you would like to delete the student completely, you'll need to go under the enrollment method and go ahead and select the red X there. And it's going to ask you and make sure you really do want to delete that student from your course. Continue and it will take them right out for you. If you would like to set up a self-enrollment method, go back under that administration tab under users. Instead of clicking enrolled users, go ahead and click enrollment methods. As you can see, all I have set up right now is manual enrollments. But if you'd like to add that self-enrollment, under add method, go ahead and click that and it's gonna bring up some options for you. So you can go ahead and select whatever you would like to set up for that. There is an enrollment key, which you can give to students maybe through email or for their first day of classes to let them know that they can enroll themselves in your course, um, but maybe they need to enter in a password. There's also an option for setting up a start and end date time for when students can enroll in your course. From personal experience, we've had a little bit of issue with this and we prefer to use the enrollment key, but that's for your personal preference. A really important step here not to forget is the max enrolled users option. By default, it always sets mine to zero. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and put a number in there that is big enough for all of your students to enroll themselves. If it's set to zero, it's not gonna let anybody enroll. Go ahead and select add method and that's set up and ready to go for you. If you ever want to take that out, just go under the edit button, red exit, and that's gone for you. So that was a quick rundown of manual and self-enrollments from Boonal. Thank you for watching.